Hey guys, today I am so excited because I have with me in the kitchen, Alyssa Goodman. I'm so excited to be here. Now, I actually discovered Alyssa through one of your comments on my video, so I know some of you know her, but for those of you that don't, Alyssa is a holistic nutritionist and also a cleanse expert. Today she's gonna talk to us a little bit about sugars and also share a recipe. I am, it's a naturally sweetened chocolate chip cookie. Which my kids are gonna totally love. I can't wait for them to try it. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. So let's go through our ingredients. We need overripe bananas, one organic egg, vanilla extract, coconut oil, chocolate chips, walnuts, gluten-free oats, almond meal, finely shredded coconut, cinnamon, fine grain sea salt, and baking powder. So let's get started. What exactly do we do first? Yes, it's this is so easy. So okay. we're gonna start with three overripe bananas. Okay. And we are going to mash them. That takes muscle, girl. <laughs> This is the sweetener for the cookies. Oh, the whole so sweetener, it's like that's right. It's a natural sweetener, which is You know, it's so, so funny, beautiful. when you went through the ingredients, I didn't even think about the fact that there was no sugar No, listed. there's no sugar. Now, if I were smart, I'd be using a fork. Okay, next is an egg. Okay, just one. Yes, one. Easy, peasy. Free range organic egg, okay. which is really try to go clean. Okay. The next is the vanilla extract. All right, I love vanilla. Quarter cup of refined coconut oil. Okay, so you're using refined. Yes. Can you use unrefined? You can use unrefined. Okay. The unrefined is just more coconutty flavor, but I actually like both of them. So next up looks like we have our dry ingredients. Yes, and first up is gluten free oats. It's Bob's Red Mill gluten free oats, which I love. They don't taste any different, which is fantastic. Great. And gluten is inflammatory. Okay. So right. that's why I use them. Okay, and next we have some almond meal. Almond meal, okay. Doesn't smell like almonds, I know. <laughs> and why are we using this versus like a flour? It's just again, it's gluten free. Okay, I like that. And I love almonds, and they have so many benefits, oh. health benefits. I'm assuming there's protein yeah, in there's flour, protein in which that is flour. awesome. Yes. Okay, and then we have coconut shredded coconut, and it's unsweetened. I'm it's guessing. Unsweetened. Mm-hmm. Gives some texture to the cookies. And finally, let's add the rest of the dry ingredients. It's cinnamon, fine grained sea salt, and baking powder. Perfect. Now that we have our wet and dry, we're going to mix both together. Okay, so I can you want to that throw in that in. Us. Yeah, and you're going to give it a stir. I'm going to give it a stir. It smells really good already. Looks good, doesn't it? Now we're going to fold in the goodies, the okay. unsweetened chocolate chips. All right. Talk to me about they, these guys. They are sweetened with stevia. Oh, okay. I don't know if you know much about stevia. And do you no, like it? I do like it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. And I also like how these are kind of mini. Yeah, which is I nice. love the mini too. Now it's the walnuts. Okay, now these are chopped, in. right? So and those are chopped. Big. They yep. are just, they're protein. Right. And they're actually full of omegas, which is anti-inflammatory. Okay, so we're all mixed we're up. We're all mixed up. I got a baking go. sheet. I lined it with parchment paper, that's okay? That's okay. Okay, and then what size? There are no dyes in that parchment paper. No, <laughs> totally. All right, so what so size? So we're doing like about, like a full big tablespoon. A full big, like, yeah. like this? It's a little more than that. A little more, So okay. oversized, yeah, okay. perfect. perfect. They're not really that pretty. They kind of are little blobs. But, but they taste delicious. They taste That's what yes. counts. You did a beautiful job. Thank you very much. But I just have to go in and Hi. just <laughs> smooth them out a little bit. Now they're ready for the oven. 350 for 15 minutes. All right, so the cookies are out of the oven. Ryder smelled them from the playroom and came to join us. I'm gonna give him a little bite, but I didn't want Alyssa to go before you talk to us a little bit about sugar, right? Sugar is a huge epidemic. Yes. We are eating way too much sugar. 25 grams is what we should eat per day. Which is not a lot, you guys. A bowl of granola can have like 18, 19, 20 grams. A juice, we are really into the juices these mm -hmm. days, can have 25 grams. So you yeah. get that in one thing you're eating right. or drinking. So it's hidden in a lot of things. And so my rule of thumb for most people is when you look at a serving size and it's five grams or less, it's good. It's um, not like you have to cut it out completely, but just try to And I love the it. idea of giving them alternatives. Yeah. So I'm excited for the older kids to try these because I'm sure they're gonna absolutely love them. So make sure you guys check out Alyssa's website, alyssagoodman.com. It's a great source for recipes. I personally had all of my supplement ideas from there and just a great source of information and all things healthy. So thank you so much for coming on the show, for making these cookies for Ryder. Can you say thank you? Thank you. <laughs> oh, Ryder, it was so great to meet you. You're adorable. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Yummy. Mwah.
Can you say that's a wrap? That's a wrap. <laughs>